guys welcome to my youtube channel this is my first video that i'm making and it's just so surreal because i've been thinking about starting a youtube channel for probably like a year maybe that was like a long thought but like i just for the past year and a half i've loved watching youtube and i just like get inspired by all these amazing women and like all the things they do and i just like love watching ever since i've just like wanted to be that for somebody because i know there's so many women like that for me that i watch on youtube but anyway my name's lauren you can find me on instagram or tiktok and my handle is lauren v fit with two t's i posted on my instagram story um a q a box and i just had all my followers ask me any questions from like fitness personal lifestyle balance etc so i'm gonna pull those up it's also like super hot so i got a lot of questions and i'm gonna do the best i can to answer them also i was like so <laughs> nervous i was like i was supposed to record this like a couple days ago but then i went to visit my sister in the city and i just didn't do it and then i was gonna do it yesterday and then i was like oh you know what? i'm gonna wash my hair and like do my hair and stuff so my boyfriend and i went out on a date last night so that's why my hair is like leftover curls but i was like i just don't know what to wear like blah, blah. so i just decided on my owner fit the first question is what's your college major so i major in organization management studies and i minor in business but i go to a liberal arts college so pretty much organization management studies is a fancy way of saying business how do I balance going to the gym? I balance going to the gym by making it the number one priority on my list and making time for it. If you want to get something done enough, you will make the time for it. If so, if I know I'm going to have a busy day, I'll set my alarm for an hour earlier and hit the gym earlier. How many times a week do I do cardio? <laughs> I hate cardio. And what I mean by that is like I hate running. I've always thought the only way you could work out as a girl was to run and I hated running so I literally did not work out for so long because I thought that was the only way I could work out to get skinny or to get my dream body I consider my cardio 10k steps and I do that mostly every day unless I'm just slacking but sometimes 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 I will do like a hit circuit and that will be like 10 minutes of sprint 10 minutes of sprints on the treadmill and that will be my cardio but that will be like max once a week if i even get to it favorite post workout protein my favorite post workout protein if i'm drinking it is you can beam birthday cake it's so freaking good it's so good to just drink like it honestly it tastes like birthday cake or like pancake batter birthday cake pancake batter how about that but it's just so easy to drink it's not chalky at all it doesn't taste like protein it's just so easy to drink it's 20 grams of protein and 100 calories and it is vegan which is really nice if i'm like eating my protein i really really love my cinnamon cereal proats or my chocolate brownie proats both are delicious favorite post workout meal i am a huge foodie i love food i literally live for food that is sometimes why my results can be slower because like i'm not going to limit my food like i love food if i'm presented with the opportunity to go out to dinner i go out to dinner and i get like three or four courses and like eat several rounds of bread like i just love food but my favorite post-workout meal probably proats so freaking good but yeah definitely that unless i want like a bagel something quick i'll do like a bagel and cream cheese to build muscle with only dumbbells have to stop going to gym because of covid i really started my fitness journey at the beginning of quarantine with covid and all i had access to were dumbbells so say you don't have like a bunch of different weights you can increase your sets the amount of like sets you do you can increase your reps which is the amount of repetitions you do so say you've been doing like four by ten hip thrust for a while increase it to 4 by 12 then increase it to 4 by 15 then increase it then go to 5 by 10 5 by 12 5 by 15 things like that you just want to progressively increase what you're doing and also focus on time under tension so that's pretty much like 
doing your reps slower, things like that. And I also do have a dumbbell only program in my bio. It's a four week program. All you need is dumbbells. You can do it at home or the gym. When you go out, what do you drink? I'm in college, so I don't have like high class taste when it comes to like good alcohol. I really, I don't like alcohol. I like stuff that tastes good. So I don't really like to buy drinks out because they're expensive. So when I do, I like amaretto cherry sours, which I like, I make myself and my roommates and my friends all the time. It's just vodka, Sprite Zero, grenadine, and sweet and sour. And it's not the best for you because like it's just straight up sugar pretty much. But I think that's why I like it. It kind of tastes like a dirty Shirley Temple. I like Moscow Mules, which is like ginger ale, but I do diet ginger ale to save some cows. Um, lime juice, and then vodka. I also love espresso martinis, but I don't get those often either. Tips for people starting off fitness accounts. Transparent, just be completely you. People, there are 7 billion people in the world. There are going to be a ton of people who identify with you. Post what you would want to see. Be patient. Like it, Instagram can be so frustrating because the algorithm just stinks. It changes all the time and it's like, don't even get me started. I get annoyed all the time, but just be you and give yourself patience and be proud of the content you produce. What did you do that made your account start to take off? Um, I would say my account, my Instagram really started taking off probably over this summer, like exponentially. I hit 10K um, followers like January of 2021 and then over the summer when I was in North Carolina with my boyfriend and his family, I posted this one reel that just like popped off and I hit like 25k then and right now I'm at like 55k but my reels are what pop off so I would say really focus on your reels. Can you say everything about bulking and then cutting please and tips too please? So a bulk is when you're eating in a caloric surplus so this means that you're trying to put on weight and then a cutting phase that's when you're in a calorie deficit but don't go into a deficit that's too big because you don't want to do that you're a human you deserve food food is fuel how i would go about it to go into a cut i would decrease like 50 to 100 calories a week i'll probably decrease 100 but the point is you don't want to lose that muscle so you want to do it slowly my first week of cutting i would go from 2100 to 2000 calories and then the next week I would go to 1900, then 1800, then 1700, then 1600. And I would probably stop at 1600 because I don't want to be in too much of a deficit. While you're cutting, please prioritize your protein and please focus on progressive overload because you don't want to just ignore all the muscle that you've created. What inspired your fitness journey and what's pushing you to stay consistent with it? I never was the most confident in my body. I never considered myself to be like, skinny or fit or something like that so like in that area i was always like pretty insecure i would say there were so many times that i tried and i failed and i tried and i failed because i always looked for quick fixes like you would see my pinterest lookups to be like abs in seven days like how to get abs overnight how to get quick results how to lose 10 pounds in a week so once i finally got away from that toxic cycle because i would just fail all the time and then i wouldn't stick to it and then i would just go and eat the crappiest foods and be sedentary for weeks at a time like once i got out of that toxic cycle i started to get in the gym and i was like wait i can actually enjoy doing like a workout that's not running quarantine started and i just let myself go again i was like you know what everybody's in this situation they're all going to be eating nobody's going to be working out i'm going to let myself go with them and then a couple weeks into it i was like no so then i started following like at home workouts and like that so once i started to get into it i just started posting about it I just love inspiring you guys and i love seeing your dms and hearing your stories and hearing how i've made a positive impact so you guys definitely keep me going and keeping me consistent it also, working out just helps my mental health a lot and I've started to just love it and enjoy it. Whereas before I was doing it for the benefits, now I do it to post for you guys, to hold myself accountable and just to feel good physically and mentally. How long have you been working out? 
I really got into it quarantine like that's when I would say my fitness journey really started because I was actually consistent so like two years <laughs> Where are you from and can I DM you for mental health advice? I'm from outside of Philadelphia and you can definitely DM me for mental health advice, but I have no certifications and I'm not a doctor, so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, but of course I'm always here to be your friend and just to listen to you. My favorite song. I am the worst with that stuff. The type of person to find a song that I love and play it 105 times. You can ask my friends, my boyfriend, my sisters, they get so annoyed with me, my little sister most of all. But I don't have a favorite song right now. I really like Heat Waves. I also find songs like months after they were big, but I listen to country music. That's my favorite and I've, I listen to like hits and all that stuff, but I'm a country girl, die hard. Um, if you got to choose one country you would have to live in, what would you choose? That is such a good question because all I want to do is travel. I really do. I Canada sounds really nice because they speak English there and it's close enough to America, but like Europe is just calling my name. I just don't know. I haven't done enough research, but mm. I'm going to say Italy for now. What are your goals for 2022? So, oh shoot. Um... I don't have any like New Year's resolutions. I want to start moving my body differently like once a week. I move my- ah, <clears throat> Lost feeling in my foot. Another thing I want to do is eat more at home. Like it can be so easy to just order takeout and things like that but I want to try to eat more at home because I want to focus on more nutrient dense foods, whole foods, things like that. Okay. My camera just turned off. Can you see me? Hopefully. What did you feel when you first started the gym? I don't know. I think nerves is the best way to describe it because I was nervous that I would just look silly, that people were judging me, that I was going to let myself down. Like, I think just a lot of nerves. Do you find it hard to balance everything like work, school, etc.? Um, sometimes, yes, definitely because I think my priorities like shift like I prioritize my fitness account so much and sometimes I can like do that over school like my grades are still really good that's not what I'm saying but I used to prioritize school a lot more but now I have like definitely split focus and priorities among like school relationships fitness all of that stuff it's hard to balance everything not yet not yet because I'm very organized and I love running on a schedule. So if I just like write out my day, I'm chilling. But I would suggest if you find all of this stuff hard to balance, just schedule yourself. Write it all down, create a routine. I'm very routine oriented and I think that's why I don't struggle as much because I know when I wake up, I do my little morning routine and then I hit the gym and that's two things checked off my list. I'd love to hear your experience with body image. Do you struggle? Absolutely, I struggle. This past month though, I have been struggling with body image so freaking much. It, It's so hard to not struggle with body image when there's, when social media is a highlight reel. When you're seeing these skinny people posted everywhere and body standards for women just change all the time based off of preference. I try to remind myself all the time like, I see how I can make myself look posed and then I see what I can also look like unposed. So people are doing the exact same thing. And how do I cope with it? I would just say like do stuff that makes you feel good, like nourish your body, make your body feel good and then maybe you'll feel better and then don't wear tight clothes. If you don't want to like look at yourself like that, just put on sweatpants or make yourself feel pretty. Do your hair, do your makeup, just make yourself feel good in other ways because you are so much more than what you look like. Do you plan on sticking to a niche on YouTube, i.e. fitness, lifestyle only videos? Fitness and lifestyle, totally. I'll do like day in the life, things like that, but I'm really gonna be very flexible on YouTube, so I'm kinda gonna let you guys decide for me. How do I stay so consistent with eating healthy? Well, right now I like healthy foods more than I ever did and like healthy foods I hate like labeling things as healthy and unhealthy 
but I I think it's because I'm able to balance what I eat so well like I if I see chocolate and I want chocolate I'm gonna eat the chocolate but sometimes I'll be more disciplined than others but sometimes I'll indulge more than others so I think it's just allowing yourself the freedom to enjoy healthy food and unhealthy foods okay one question asked how I fit reading into my schedule so wake up 30 minutes earlier read a little bit before you start your day before you get on your phone and then you'll be golden